Well, you guys, got another ransomware removal video here for you. This one's called PRS for Music. Your computer has been locked. And basically, what they're saying is you've been downloading legal content, i.e., music, pirated music off the internet for free, and you have now been caught. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a fine or face uh, up to three years in prison. Well, this is all fake, of course, but what it does is it scares you into paying for something that's not real. And of course, it's going to work on a lot of people because not everyone knows about ransomware. So this is why they make these things. And this could happen in any country, i.e. France, Switzerland, or anything like that. And you can see some examples on the screen now, which will be similar ones to this. OK, now this is a British one, obviously, but you will have other ones from other countries. Now, this does infect XP, Vista and Windows 7. And what's going to happen is uh, you won't be able to get into safe mode or save my web network and anything like that, you're going to need a live CD. OK, I was tapping F8 on the keyboard there to get to the advanced boot options. I'm in a Windows 7 uh, environment here and I'm going to try to get into safe mobile networking. It won't happen. You know, you can't get into safe mode or safe mobile networking or safe mobile command prompt and you can't even get into directory services restore mode. It blocks you on all of them. We'll let this load up and then once we've seen what happens, we'll reboot into a live CD to try and remove it. Now it doesn't really matter which one you use. Kaspersky, I find Kaspersky Rescue CD, since they've just done a big update, is really good because you've got the registry editor in there now, which allows you to edit the registry. We'll use something different for this video because I've used the same thing all the time. And we're in safe mode with networking as you can see and you should get this ransom soon you see a bit of German writing there that will soon change and it will select which uh, country you're from and give you that ransom and there we go that's the actual ransom now sometimes this takes a while to come up but it will come up um, it will stop you from getting in the registry and stuff like that so this reboot the system OK, so I'm going to start up our live CD. I'm going to be using Bitdefender for this one, um, but pretty much all I want is access to the actual computer so I can remove them from the system. OK, so let it do its updates. OK, so what we're interested in here is access to the actual computer that's infected. And uh, as you can see, I've got access to my computer here. Now, Kaspersky Rescue CD, I find, has got some better useful tools than Bitdefender. As I said, it's got the registry editor on it now, the Windows Unlocker, which does quite a good job. I just wanted to use something else for a change. So we're going to go to users here and into test, which is my account. So that will be the user account that's infected. I've called mine test um, app data. And then inside here, there should be a folder called roaming. And there you can see an actual uh, infection there. That's the actual file we want to remove. Again, we want to go back here now. So I'm just going to go back to the actual user account again and uh, I'm going to go to, let's have a look here, desktop if we can find that, there it is. And what I want to do here is remove this one here, this is the one that's activated it on my desktop, remove that and that's two files that's gone. Now. Obviously, all we need to do now is reboot the system, and uh, what we're going to do is get into safe mobile networking. So I'm going to reboot the system now. So I was tapping F8 on the keyboard there once I've removed the CD. I'm going to go into safe mobile networking. Now, if you've got heavier infections than just one infection, I'd advise you to do more scans than just doing what I've done. This is just for one ransomware on the system I 
Okay, so we're at a safe mode with networking, and uh, what we want to do here, you will have some disabled functions like so, and regedit, and this is easier to fix. You can see they've been disabled. So what I'm going to do is fix the registry first, and uh, I've got a VB script here that I'm going to use to fix that, and I'm going to go into desktop and I've already got mine downloaded here on the desktop but I will give you the link for it and this will actually fix the registry so we can have access to the registry so that link will be um, in my description of the video so once we've got that done we can now open the registry before it would have stopped us and I want to go to the hkey current user software and then Microsoft and then I'll come down to Windows NT and then current version and I want to look at Win Logon and I can see uh, some files here that have been added user in it that's been added right there you can see it's been added in and there's also the shell that's been added in as well okay and I'm going to remove these and that shell one, delete that out. Okay. And um, task manager preferences. Okay, so what I want to do here next is go to Windows. Let's have a look here. Go up. I'm gonna to go to Windows here, current version, and then policies look at this here you can see disable task manager I'm going to get rid of that as well and that should solve the task manager issue which it does and what I want to do before we reboot is just do a quick scan with malware bytes just to make sure I'm going to check the updates first get the latest updates and then going to go for a full scan on the system let that scan up and also just want to do a quick scan with uh, Hitman Pro here now normally I do one scan at a time but just for this video I'm just gonna quickly do two scans it should be fine Now again, uh, there is many different ways of removing these. This is not the only way. Okay, so Hitman Pro's come up clean. okay so there we have the scan now finished I'm going to show the results and as you can see there was one registry key down one inside the recycle bin I'm just going to quickly remove those I'm going to close that off and I'm going to reboot the system back into normal mode now Okay, so that's now back at the desktop. Should have all our functions back. Icons are missing. Just a quick re uh, right click on the desktop there. Come down to view and show desktop icons. That's been changed. And there you are, back to normal. So that's pretty much uh, done and dusted that one. Thanks uh, to Malwarebytes forums for the actual sample there because I can't make these videos without them guys and I uh, hope it helps you out my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys please remember hit that subscribe button and share support also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future thanks again bye for now